Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Because I had, I didn't teach yesterday. I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh, it's Monday. It's not Monday. Get it together. <laughs> good morning, good morning. So, today we're starting down here with the core conditioning. And then we're going to get up into full body weight training. Or strength training. And we are going to use some weights, some dumbbells. Happy Wednesday. I hope you had an awesome day yesterday. Maybe you took it off. Turn this down. Maybe you did some yoga. Maybe you went for a walk with your family. Maybe you actually picked some videos and did a workout, right? Whatever you did, I hope you took care of your body and you gave yourself what you needed. All right, let's come to a cross up. I, even though we're on the mat, I am going to keep my sneakers on because it just feels like get to work, right? All right, let's sit up nice and tall, nice long line through the back. Plug those shoulders in, roll the shoulders back for four, three, two, and one. Roll the shoulders forward for four, three, two, and one. Reach the hands up. Grab one wrist, stretch it up and over to one side. Don't hold it, just reach, 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 and then let it go. Switch, grab the other wrist, stretch it up and over. Take some nice, long, deep breaths here. <sighs> and bring it up, bring those hands down, roll them through. Reach those hands back behind you, clasp the fingers together. Sit up nice and tall, plug the shoulders and lift the head, and then lift the arms a little bit, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Breathe. Let a smile climb up on your face, if for nothing less for the fact that you're alive. Release your hands. Good. Reach the hands up. Grab the hands on top. Opposite hand on top this time. Clasp the hands together and then drop the weight of the arms down and back. Breathe. Good. Let it go. Bring the hands from one side to the other. Now, mind you, we're still sitting up nice and tall. We're not hunching in. We're still sitting up nice and tall, giving our spine the integrity, the honor that it deserves. Breathe into it. Shh. Oh, that feels nice. Just a nice little opener. Come to one side, either side, doesn't matter. Hand on the thigh, reach the other hand behind. Twist in, take a deep breath, and let it out and release. Shh. Go to the other side. Hand on the thigh, reach the other hand behind you. Twist, inhale, exhale, release. Shh. Good, go again. Hand on the thigh, hand behind you. Twist, inhale. Exhale, release. One more. Hand, inhale. Exhale, release. Good. Reach the hand out one side. Sink on down. Make sure that you keep the hips magnet, the booty magneted to, is that a word? Magneted? Pretend like there's a magnet attaching your booty to your mat or your floor or your carpet. Try not to move. So you come as low as you can through the side here. Reach up and through, reach, 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 breathe. Turn the palm face up and then press up and over to the other side. Reach, slide on down, reach up and through, breathe. Turn the palm, bring it up. Go again, hand, reach, 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 and breathe, release. Other side, hand, reach, turn the palm, breathe, and release. Go again, one side, flip. And over, other side, flip, and over. One more. One side, flip, and over, and other side, flip, and over. Good. Stretch the legs up right here, just to give them a little bit of love. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Good. Roll the shoulders back, plug them in, sit up nice and tall right here. Walk the hands down the legs, and then sink in just a little bit. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs, yep. And then walk it back. So you're just gonna go into the space where you feel the stretch and then pull it right back. Walk it in nice and slow, walk it out nice and slow. So walk it in, take in, feel that space where you start to feel that uncomfortable, you know, that stretch, and then right in that spot, walk it back. Good, do that two more times. Walk it down, walk it back. One more again, walk it down, and walk it back. Good, shake it off. Lift one leg and bounce it, two, three, four. Bring it down, other side, one. Two, three, four, and bring it down. Do that again. One, two, three, four, bring it down. And other side, one, two, three, four, bring it down. Now one side and then the other. Just waking up through those quads. Uh, right here, these muscles right here, your thighs, your quads, they're the biggest muscles in the lower body. They're the biggest muscles in the body. So it's nice to warm those up, even if we're doing floor work, because, shake it up. Um, it's such a big part of your body, so it gets the energy flowing. 
All right, lift one leg, roll it out one way. Two, three, four, go the other way. Two, three, four, bring it down. One leg, one, two, three, four, go the other way. One, two, three, four, bring it down. All right, bring those feet in. You can either come to a butterfly stance, a butterfly sit, seat, butterfly sit. Anyways, I'm at a, in a butterfly seat. You can choose to cross your legs. Make sure you're still sitting up tall. I'm just doing this to do something different and I want to stretch out my arrows, guys. Plug those shoulders in, bring those arms up, and then squeeze forward, round the back a little bit, drop the head just a smidge. Don't let the chin touch the skin and then open up, look up. Good, go again, drop it in and look up. Opening up through those back muscles, drop and breathe and up. One more, drop and breathe and up. Good, reach the hands up and down. Two, three, four, okay, five, is that really six? Okay, seven, eight, hold here, open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn the palms forward and close. Two, you know like those monkeys, three, four with the symbols, five, six, seven, eight, open and hold, pulse it out, flip it over, press it forward, press it up, press it down, press it back, Back to the top, hands up, breathe, close and open. Palms are face up this time. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hold them open, up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands come down, walk it up, lean it in. So you can do this whether you're sitting in a cross leg position or you're sitting like this, or if your legs are out, just lean forward. Stretch out your back to one side, lean over to one side. You can even reach the hands out, breathe. Feel that stretch in your lower back. Come back to center, lean in, and then go to the other side. Breathe into it, come back to center, come on up. Back in, one side. Last time on each side, reach, reach, reach. Nice, bring it in, sit up. One more time, other side, reach it out. Reach, reach, reach. And back in. Good. Bring those legs around. We're just going to swing those legs around, lay on the belly real quick, and stretch out the core. So this particular core conditioning, this is one of the ones that I do myself. And um, the reason why I really like it is because it has a lot of crunches. So there's a crunch challenge built into this core conditioning. And as much as people might hate crunches, you got to do that. If you want a stronger core, you need to be able to be in that space of spinal flexion right here, right? And engaging these muscles, you need to do crunches. Like, you can run from it all you want, but you need to do them. All right, so, let's, speaking of crunches, let's swing these legs around. Plant those feet, roll the shoulders down, and then roll it on down. All right, so you can either keep your hands behind your head, make sure you're keeping those shoulders plugged in, space between the chin and the chest, Deep breaths, allow your eyes, your gaze to kind of move on this semicircle, I don't know, the semicircles uh, line. <laughs> it's not a line, it's a semicircle. But allow your gaze to go that way. Some people think that they have to keep their eyes facing up towards the ceiling. Allow yourself to move naturally, you know, with the position. Um, get the shoulder blades off of the floor. I like to plug my shoulders in and reach forward for two reasons. One, I find that sometimes I pull on my neck, and two, I when, I'm, um, when my hands are here, these muscles in my neck, they get exhausted very easily because of my own issues, but you can plug in or here. All right, take a deep breath. Uh, let's go. We're gonna do 15, two, smile, three, four. Breathe into it. Find your rhythm. Good. Pull the belly button into the spine. 13, 14, and 15. Roll it up. Good. So we're going to do 15 crunches and then a separate exercise. 15 crunches. And we're just going to keep doing that until we run out of time. <laughs> Bring those legs around. <laughs> it sounds so mean, but it's going to be awesome. Elbow under shoulder, fingers spread wide. Line up that body. Line up that body. So you can either stack your feet, one in front of the other, or bring that other foot in the back. You get to choose. We're gonna press up into a side plank here. Hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and hip drops. 10, eight, six, smile, pull it up, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up and breathe, under toes. This hand goes under for 10. Whoa. Six. Keep those shoulders plugged in. You got four more right here. Four, or maybe you don't have four. Maybe you didn't do as many. Three, because you're just really monitoring your form. Two, and one. Good, bring it down. You want to make sure that you don't have to do as many. Just make sure that you're having good form at all times, and you're really making sure that each move you can feel, right? Be intentional. So sometimes 10 is not the number. Sometimes it's eight. Sometimes it's six. On your body. Elbows under the shoulders. Either you can press the hands into the mat or bring the hands together and clasp them. Come into a low plank. So curl the toes, lift the knees, hips, and booty. Find that nice straight line. Side to side hip drops. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, drop the knees. I'm gonna swing my legs over to the other side so we can do our hip, I mean, um, side plank on this side. Because once we complete a series of exercises, we're just throwing it away. And then we're moving on to the next one. Find your lineup, take a deep breath. Press up and lift. 10, eight, six, four, two, hip drops, 10. Breathe into it, find your rhythm. Seven. You got it, come on, three more. Three, don't give up on yourself. Two, and one, 10 under toes. 10, find your balance. Eight, seven, six. Press away from the mat, don't collapse into your shoulder. You got three more, come on, we can do this. Three. Two, and one, bring it down. Ooh, nice, turn it over. All right, we're gonna go into that low plank, do that side to side hip drop, and then we're throwing that away. Plug the shoulders in, elbows under shoulders, press those palms together, curl the toes, lift it up, side to side. Make sure you're breathing. You got four more. Down. Woo. Nice job. Flip it over. <sighs> Plant those feet. I'm going to take a quick drink of my ACV, my apple cider vinegar water. Here's to our health. Yum. Okay, back to those crunches. Bring those feet in, plug in the shoulder space, reach those hands, take a deep breath. You got 15, I'll count it down in my head. You just breathe. Think about things you're grateful for. <sighs> Smile, let's go. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees in, rock yourself up, flip those legs over, come back into that plank position. All right, so now we're gonna come into a low plank, elbows under the shoulders, fingers spread wide. Keep in mind, this is a plank, this is a plank, and this is a plank-esque position from tabletop, right? Out of your body. Pick, you pick your poison. No, pick your weapon. No, what's the saying? I can't remember. Anyways, drop those knees. I mean, drop those hips. We're gonna do a double knee kiss. So we're gonna kiss down, and then when we come up, one leg lifts, then the other leg lifts. We have 10 sets. Take a deep breath. Let's go. 10, 
smile. This is a good time again to think about kiss and then lift. All the things in your life and about yourself that you're grateful for, kiss and lift. Good, you got it. Pull that belly up and in. One more. So this is working through your entire core and go again, halfway. Sorry, that was one more to halfway. <laughs> Three more, come on. You got it. You can also just hold that plank. Two more. Last one. Oh, nice. Drop it. Woo. Stretch it out. Take a deep breath. Go into child's pose for a moment. Press on up. Bring those feet around. Crunches. You already know. Find your lineup. Find your lineup. Plug the shoulders in. Space between the chin to chest. Reach it out. Let's go. Five more. Knees in, rock it up. Whew. Already sweating. Turn it over, lay on your belly. This is a little, like lay down, calm down. <laughs> no, no, it's good. <laughs> you have to lay on your belly. <laughs> what are we doing? Super one, no, pull backs. Okay. So plug the shoulders in, reach the hands out. Feet are lined up with the hips, so you don't want them too wide or zipped up together. Reach it out. Everything's gonna come up off of the floor, lifting and using every muscle in the back, and then, and some of the muscles in the glutes. So we're gonna reach and lift, lower, and then pull the elbows back, squeeze the shoulders down, lift the head nice and long, really squeeze those shoulder blades together. A nice little um, separate uh, exercise for the top half of that back. So. First, everything, take a deep breath, and then the top half. Whew, we got this, come on. Take a deep breath and lift, lift and lower. Pull it back, go again, lift, pull it back. So everything, and then just top half. Good, find your rhythm. Make sure you're keeping those shoulders plugged in so they're not crunching up into the ears. Head is nice and long. You got it. Breathe into it. Squeeze, squeeze. Make each one count. When you lift that top half, really press those feet in. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Really squeeze the shoulder blades. Come on, we're almost there. Two, last one, one, hold it, breathe, let it go, lift the top half, squeeze it, breathe, let it go, Whew. nice, walk the hands back, press up and back into a child's pose, stretch out those back muscles, nice little counter stretch for the back, breathe, good, come on over, crunches, plug those shoulders in. Yeah, we're getting it done. Roll it back. <laughs> I have seven series lined up and I'm like, we're getting them done. Reach those hands out, plug those shoulders in, space between the chin and the chest, take a deep breath, smile. You got this. Maybe it's not 15, maybe it's 10, maybe it's five. Crunch time. Let's go. Five more. Use your breath. Three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Rock it up and over. Flip it over. I feel like they know, man. Let's go. We got swimmers here. Reach those hands out. Plug those shoulders in. So everything comes up, and then we swim it out. Right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Take a breather, check in with your form, make sure the shoulders are plugged in, the head is nice and long. Sometimes if you need to pull the arms back a little bit and swim here, just so you make sure you're not crunching into that neck. Take a deep breath, lift it all up, let's swim. 
Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. That's two sets down. We got three more to go. Let's do it. Lift it up. Swim it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Whew. Two more. Let's go. Get it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Swim, swim, swim. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Whew. We got one more. You should be feeling this lighting up your entire back and maybe even your glutes a little bit, right? It's a, such an awesome move and it doesn't require any weights and you're laying on the floor to help sculpt and strengthen and build those back muscles. Last one. Let's go. Just keep swimming. Lift it up. And let's go. 10, eight, six, five, Three, and one. Bring it down. Whew. Press it back. Child's pose. Sink in, take a deep breath. Let it out. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Flip it over. Flip it over. All right, here we go. Crunches, bring those feet in. Reach those hands out. Plug the shoulders in. Pull the belly into the spine. 15 crunches, you got this, or 10. Smile, let's go. Six. That's a lot. Three, two, one. That's five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in. I'm sorry, I said six out loud, and what I do is I count from 10 down, and then I say five more, and then I, have, I count five. So when I said six, it sounded like we have six left, but that was a lie because I count weird when I count with crunches. Roll it up. <laughs> Flip it over, bring those legs around. Okay, what are we doing? Ooh, plank bird dogs. These are a fun challenge. So keep in mind, you can come right here to your tabletop position and bird dog from here, right? Keep that spine pulled in so you're not sticking your booty out into the air. Nice straight line from the top of the head to the tailbone right in there, kick that heel back. Or I'm gonna challenge myself by coming into a full plank. Feet are nice and wide, they're as wide as the mat. Pull the belly into the spine, plug the shoulders in, really press into one hand and one foot, lift and down. Whew. These require some serious balance. Holy moly, you can also, if you're looking for that challenge, drop one leg and then switch like that, right? So you're in like a modified plank kind of thing. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh my God, these are really challenging me. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I do my leg and then my arm, and then my leg, and then my arm. Maybe we come lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it. Three more sets, wherever you are. Good, two more sets. One more. I'm moving. <laughs> Holy moly, that was a challenge. Okay, flip it over. Crunches. Let's go. We're good, we're good, we got six minutes, we got this. Roll it back, plug it in, reach it out. Let's go. Smile, five more. Whew. Okay, stay here this time. We're done with planks for right now, right? Where's my paper? Yes, we are. Okay, press the hands in, plug in those shoulders, lift the legs, flex through the feet, soft bend in the knees. You can also have a greater bend here, right? You want to honor your body. This is more work. 
this is a little bit less. Make the modifications as necessary so that you can challenge yourself slowly and find your sustainable progress. Press those hands in, pull the belly button into the spine, spine into the mat. You should not be able to get your hand under here at all. All right, so lower the legs, find your sweet spot. That is the spot where you can keep the back flat and the core engaged and the legs, whatever they're doing. Lift it up. Good, we got 15 of these total. There we go, that's already two down, nice job. Breathe into it. Pull the belly into the spine, spine into the mat. Good, lower those legs and bring them up. Keep the legs bent if that's what you need to do to make sure that that lower back is staying plugged into the mat because otherwise you're risking the integrity of your spine. Breathe into it. Nice job. Pull them up. Lower them down until you feel that full engagement and then pull them up. Good job. Here we go. We got this one at a time. It's like anything else, right? You can only focus on one exercise, one rep, one day, one task at a time. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one more. Pull it up. And then bring it down. Find your sweet spot. Pull the belly in. I like to plug in my shoulders and lift my head for a little bit extra. Go flutter. Ten, eight, six, four, two, and one. Bring those feet. Woo! Nice. Last one. Woo! -hoo! We got it done. We got it done. Okay. Last one. Play uh, crunches, and then we have a one-minute plank hold. What? We got this. Reach those hands. Let's go. Five more. Two, one. Whew, bring it in. Nice job. Rock it up. <clears throat> if you did each round of the crunches, oh, perfect. We have two and a half minutes left. If you did each round of the crunches, you did 105 crunches. What? But we spread that over half an hour, so hopefully it didn't feel totally like torture. All right, timer. One minute on the timer. Okay, let's go. Bring it up, find your plank. You can even come right here if you want to. Curl, not curl, sorry. Pull the belly into the spine, nice spot back. Low plank, high plank, however you feel like doing it. Take a deep breath. Let's go. Plug those shoulders in, fingers spread wide. Wrist, elbow, shoulders are stacked. Nice long neck, drop the booty. Breathe into it. Pull the belly into the spine. Press the heels back and away. Really make this count by engaging as many muscles as possible, right? So right now I'm feeling this in my back, in my shoulders, in my stomach muscles, in my butt, in my legs. Breathe into it. You got this. This is also a good time to go, I'm amazing and I'm confident and I'm capable. I can do one thing at a time and I'm strong and I'm resilient and I am resourceful and I am here and I showed up for myself, and I self-care, and I self-love, and I do what's best for myself to make sure that I get to a healthier and happier place so that I can be my best for everybody and everything in my life. Take a deep breath. Time. Ooh, nice job. Come on over. Oh, well, wasn't that a nice little mat workout? Holy mo, I'm sweating. Okay, take a deep breath, arms go up. Grab those hands on top, drop the weight of the arms down and back, breathe. Good. And release. Bring those hands back behind you, clasp the opposite arm on top, plug the shoulders and lift the head, squeeze the shoulder blades, breathe. Nice, and release. Bring the hands over to one side like we did at the beginning, but this time we're gonna hold each side for 10 seconds. Press against the thigh, Reach the other hand back behind you. Twist, plug the shoulders and lift the head for 10. Four, 
three, two, and release. Good, other side, hand here, opposite hand behind. Plug the shoulders in, sit up nice and tall. Twist in and breathe for 10. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. Whew. Walk those hands out in front. Reach, reach, reach. Sink it down. Take a deep breath. Nice. Walk it back. Over to one side. Sink it in. Keep that hip magnetic. Whatever. New word. To the mat. Reach up and over. Plug the shoulder in. Really reach. So press the hip away. Reach the hand up. Create a nice dual stretch, right? So you're reaching up, pressing away. And in that duality, we find something really beautiful. And release. Good. Other side, sink it on down. Sink that hip in, reach it up, breathe. Really reach, 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 breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, nice. Three, two, and one, bring it back. Good. Swing those legs around, come to lay on your belly. Let's just do a core stretch right here and a nice little back counter stretch. Plug the shoulders in, lift the head. If this is too much, you can also come down to your elbows. Breathe into it. Good, press up to all fours. Walk the hands back, curl the back up towards the ceiling, and then drop the belly, head to tail, try to touch. A little shimmy from side to side. And then reverse, curl it up, a little shimmy from side to side. And release, good, come on over. Give yourself a hug, because that was awesome. Send some love and gratitude into your body. One hand, high five. All right, full body training. Let's go. I'll see you at the other side. Or if not, enjoy your day. Make it magic. Be intentional. Show up intentionally to the spaces of your life. I'll see you over there. Okay, bye.